Thanks a lot. Okay, hello everyone. So um, I'm going to talk about checking factor, factor, factor arguments. Okay, quickly. So what's the problem? So um, you have some function, some template function checking functor style arguments, so as everybody has. So I'm working on the library. So this is a typical function that we have. Um, do something with some container and uh, with some functor which is user provided. So um, Okay, sounds good. Um, but now what happens? Um, here we, we get um, here, here, here we get a problem. So I, I'll show the problem. Um, so the user is passing something here, and um, unfortunately the types don't match. So here's an unsigned int, and there's an int in the functor. And um, the ugly thing is that of course um, there's this conversion while calling the function um, in the previous code, and um, instead of just negating it, I mean it does negate it, but it's the, the, the value that comes out is some, some signed unsigned problem. And we don't, uh, I mean the, the problem is of course on the user side, um, he didn't, uh, he didn't uh, look at the arguments, but the problem is we, not, not even we all will give any hint that there's something going wrong. Um, Next problem is our static checkers see that there's something going on and they point to our library code. And we don't want that. So um, uh, users doing something wrong and we get the blame. Um, we don't like that, so we came up with this solution, which works for us. Um, yeah, so um, the, the arguments are hard to analyze statically. So we tried different solutions um, with some kind of um, uh, look up to see if the arguments are ri all right, if the types match, but then we get all kinds of fun funny problems if we want to, to uh, support default parameters, overloaded functions and, and, and stuff, it it's always breaks somewhere. Um, SID function would maybe help if we change that, but we don't want to change the interface and also we don't have SID function um, in our context. Um, so that's, that's why we came up with the solution. So we, we have this nice structure here. We say, okay, we want to check um, uh, some, some kind of conversion and how do we do that? We have some kind of uh, standard conversion operator that just uh, has a typo in it and it doesn't work like that, okay? Uh, just don't think there's a T here, a type here. Okay, um, so, uh, and we, we overload this, uh, we specialize, sorry, we specialize that for, for all the types that we want to check and uh, basically, um, uh, we, uh, it is, if we want to uh, convert this type into an int, um, it's, we delete this operator, right? So, okay, just don't do that. So, but how do we use this nice helper structure? And this is here the place how we use it. And um, so our new function here just has this static assert, and we call the functor, we just call our conversion check here, uh, with the type that we know we will put in, this type is in our control, um, we will put this type in, uh, in this templated conversion checker, and um, if, if the operator is deleted, all the mechanics, uh, how the function is chosen, how the implicit conversion, everything um, happens there, and uh, it, it stumbles upon the deleted function, and it will give us this nice compilation error. Um, it, it's also kind of, okay, here we see, um, he wants to con con convert this, um, to an int, and this, this is something we deleted, and so we got the chance to really check the functors that are provided by the users, and they can be overloaded, they have, can for all parameters, everything, and uh, it will stop compiling, um, and we don't get the blame. But the, 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 the users will, will see, okay, oh, there's something going on, uh, some kind of conversion that should not happen, and um, we kind of avoid the blame. It just doesn't compile for the users, um, but uh, we, we don't do silly things. Okay, that's actually it. And I have some time for questions. <laughs> no, no one cares. <laughs> thank you, Peter. Thank you, thank you, thank you.